Mason bees need tiny cavities and gaps above ground to lay their eggs. In nature, they typically use hollow twigs, old beetle nests, rotten branches, or even shells. By providing a bee house with the right size tubes, we can help out our little friends with their real estate search, so they can help out our gardens with their pollination service. In this video I will show you how to build a simple mason bee house from a single fence board. Nothing fancy, but the bees will love it. Welcome to Nature Yard Life. This is a simple cedar fence board. You can pick it up at any big box store or lumber yard for a few dollars. I'm going to measure out and cut each piece based on a simple drawing plan I made ahead of time. It's always a good idea to sketch something up before you start, and remember, measure twice, cut once. Here, I'm going to put an angle on each side board. This will allow the roof to slant forwards, just in case any rain gets to it. Really though, these mason bee houses should be installed under covered areas facing in an eastern direction. The bees need the morning sun to warm up their bodies before they can start to fly. These cuts are for the floor, back, and little shelf inside. Just cleaning up these rough cut edges. I'll put this together with my brad nailer. Screws are an option if you prefer. Sides and back first. Then the bottom. Next is the little shelf divider. The tubes will go on top of the shelf and the mason bee cocoons will go underneath. Final piece is the roof. It has an overhang all the way around. This piece of scrap will work as an attachment for wherever you decide to place the house. I'm going to create a bevel around the top and soften up all the other edges. Sanding is a nice touch. Well worth the elbow grease.
Once the house is complete, it is time to fill it with some tubes. I prefer to line my tubes with paper so I can reuse them every year, but it is not a requirement. I find that using an old jar lid is ideal for depositing the cocoons under the shelf divider. Additionally, these lids prevent the cocoons from falling out whenever it gets a little windy. Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it informative. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.